Hello, welcome to Training Grounds TV. I'm Jamie. Today we're going to do a Muay Thai workout. Um, so, <clears throat> getting started with some, some limbering up exercises. Some circles with the arms. And back. Arms across the front of the chest. Circles this way. Circle that way. The old Vandalay Silva. Neck forward and back. Chin to shoulder, ear to shoulder, keep the hips nice and loose, one way and the other, a couple of side to sides, some twists, now this one, so I want to have your feet nice and wide, double shoulder length apart, dynamic hamstring warm up and warming up the core as well. Make sure you turn your head, keep your knees straight. Okay, now while we're here as well, we're gonna do a four point straddle touch. So I'm gonna have my hands together, I'm gonna to go down in front, down to one side, down behind, and then go around that way. So I'm gonna to touch in front, one foot behind the other foot, five times one way, then go five times back the other way. Times back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. All righty, a couple of these. Nice and loose, pump the blood into the shoulders now. It's freezing here, so. Get a decent warm up. Some uppercuts. I do some left kick here. I take my shoes off. Keep going on your left kick. Moving on to right kick now. Not going all the way through, just warming up. Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, the box drill. So it's just a basic footwork drill. Um, we're going to step forward with the jab three times, then throw across, then we're going to go back, then we go left, then we're going to go right. So my Muay Thai stance. So making sure my hips are square. So here, hands up. Just going to go forward with the jab. So stepping with the jab. One, two, three. Throw across, now stepping back with the jab. One, two, three, throw across. Then we go to the left. One, two, three, and across, and to right. One, two, three, and across. So stepping, one, two, three, cross. Stepping back, one, two, three, and across. To the left, one, two, three, and across. To the right, one, two, three, and across. Making sure you turn your heel, hip, and shoulder on your cross. One more time. One, two, three, and across. One, two, three, and across. One, two, three, bang. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's adapt that to Muay Thai. So let's, instead of throwing across, let's throw a rear hooking elbow. So I'm stepping in with my jab. One, two, three, then my elbow. And I'm going back with my jab. One, two, three, elbow. Left with my jab. One, two, three, elbow. Right with my jab. One, two, three, elbow. Make sure we throw that elbow and you don't drop this hand. You don't do this, do the elbow like that. Yeah? Or the hooking like that, we can throw it over. Keep going. One, two, three, elbow, back. One, two, three. Okay, time. 
so it should be nice and warm now. Let's do some, um, we're gonna do some ha another hamstring warm up. So we're gonna go like this, just stretch, kick straight up. The foot goes back to where it was. I take my other foot back, put that foot forward and kick. So step, 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 kick. Step, step, kick. Step, 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 kick. Just a hamstring warm up. It's not a teep. But I want the footwork right. Step, 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 kick. Okay, now we're gonna do with the same footwork now, but we're gonna do a knee instead. So <clears throat> throw the knee up at 45 degrees, put your hips forward, then put your do that that three steps in between to get you to switch stances. So from here, knee. Put it back where it was. Step, step, knee. Step, 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 knee. Step, step, step. Boom. On the side. Knee. Step, 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 knee. Step, knee. Step, 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 knee. Oy. 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 So this is a really good drill for practicing step up knees. Um, now we're going to throw switch knees. So. We we're taking one step out of it, so instead of going step, 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 we're just going to switch and then throw the knee on the other side. And I'm here now. Knee, I put my foot back where I was, switch. Knee, and we switch. Hips forward with the knee. Hey, hey. Now we're gonna do 50 of those. <laughs> so. Let's go, 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 40, 10 to go. Ha. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right o Get my breath back for a second. So now we're gonna do punch then knee. So a similar one I did on the uh, class last time was punch the elbow. So you punch the knee. So it'll be one, two, hook cross and we'll build on it. So it'll be jab knee, one, two, knee, one, two, hook, knee, one, two, hook, cross, and we'll throw two knees. So, first one, easy, jab knee. Jab knee. Second one, one, two, switch knee. Third one, one, two, hook, right knee. Last one, one, two, hook, cross, knee, knee. And they're step up knees, those last two, yeah? So, one, jab, knee, two, ha, ha, knee, three, ha, 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 knee, four, one, two, hook, cross, knee, knee. Back to where you started afterwards. One, jab, knee, two, one, two, knee, Three, one, two, hook, knee. Four, one, two, hook, cross, knee, knee. Two more times. Jab, then knee. One, two, then knee. One, two, hook, then knee. One, two, hook, cross. One more time. Hey. Ha, ha. Hey. 
Ha, ha, ha. Okay, good. So moving right along. So now we're going to do some um, boxing combinations and, and put kicks on the end. So they're just basic ones, but we're going to do three different kicks. So first one's just going to be the jab. So it's not really a combination, it's just a jab. <laughs> we're going to go jab low, jab mid, jab high, and then jab knee. So, jab low, jab mid, jab high, jab knee. This one, jab low, you can spin through on the low or not. I can spin right through, or I can just go to there, pull it back. Mid, high, and then the knee. One more time, jab low, jab mid, jab high, jab knee. Okay, next one, one, two, it's gonna be left kick. So one, two, left low, mid, high, and then the knee. So here, one, two, low, one, two, mid. One, two, high. One, two, knee. All the way through again. One, two, low. One, two, low. One, two, mid. One, two, high. All the way through. One, two, knee. Step up knee, back to where you started, back in your stance. Every time reset, get that stance back, very important. One more time on this one. One, two, up. one, two, low. One, two, mid. One, two, high. Now the knee. One, two, knee. Woo -hoo. Okay, so still with the same sort of concept. We're now gonna throw one, two, double left hook. So when I do that, I need to chamber my hook properly. So, one, two, so I'm in this position, my shoulder's forward, this shoulder's back, this hand's here, not here. I turn and throw my hook, I turn back to here, point this shoulder back, back here, nice and high, this elbow's in, it's not doing that, and I throw my second hook. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 like that. Turn the shoulders, chin down. When you throw that hook, turn. But don't look that way, but yeah, turn that way. So, low, mid, high, and a knee. One, two, double hook. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 high. Ha, 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 high. Now the knee. Ha, 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 Two more times through. One, two, hook, hook, low. One, two, hook, hook, mid. One more time. Okay, last one of these. I'm gonna throw one, two, I've cut cross. So one, two. One, two. Bing, bing. Uppercut, careful not to overextend. Throw it to there. And also you wanna get in that gap there. Two, uppercut, and shoot your cross right behind that. And then it'll be the left kick. One, two, uppercut, cross. Ha, 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 ha. Low kick. Mid kick next. Ha, 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 ha. One, two, up, cross. High. Two more times. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. 
Another knee. One more time. High kick next. And the knee now. Okay, time. Good work. So next we're gonna do some pivots. So when we're doing these pivots, you really need to visualize your imaginary opponent coming charging towards you and you're pivoting out of their road and then you're gonna land a kick. So, first one, I imagine my opponent's coming towards me bang with this right hand here. I'm gonna pivot, I'm gonna step to the side as I parry the right hand, pivot to the side and throw my kick, creating an angle. So if I'm here, imagine the punch coming towards me, I'll pivot and throw my right kick. Here, parry, pivot and kick. And when you get to that position, you pivoted, Protect yourself. Your hands are up. So once I'm here, oh, where am I? Like this. I pivot here. Boom. And now my opponent's facing that way. I'm facing this way. Bang. Visualize that shot coming at you. Okay. Let's go now. That same pivot. Let's throw a one, two, and a left knee first. Then our opponent's gonna counter attack, and we're gonna pivot off to the side like the matador and bang and kick into him. So one, two, left knee. When I land the foot. Now when you pivot, if I'm standing in front of my opponent like this, and I pivot, I give them the advantage. So I need to get out and pivot so I can counter attack from the side. So when I throw that knee. One, two, knee, I step that knee off to the side. And here I'm pushing off my opponent's punch or the shoulder or whatever to create angle and I'll land my kick. So it's one, two, left knee and pivot and then throw your right kick. Okay, hopefully you've all got a, got a hang of that. So now we're gonna go the other way. It's a little bit trickier, because I'm kind of switching to southpaw as I do it, right? Or, or the opposite stance. So, from here, from there, imagine my opponent's coming towards me with this jab here. I'm gonna parry with my backhand and pivot this way, right? So as I, as I parry, I step forward and pivot, boom. Making sure I step on the outside of my opponent. Step, parry to there, pivot, parry to there. Pivot to here, sorry. And then from here, I'm in south four. I'm protecting myself again. And my left leg's at the back, so that's what I'm gonna throw. Pivot, kick, pivot. Kick, visualize your opponent moving around them. Pivot, kick. Switch to southpaw. Left leg's at the back now. That's the kick I'm gonna throw. Once you've got it, make it smooth. Once you've got it, make it smooth. Okay, so now let's put that into a combo. We'll just throw the jab and the right knee. So I'll throw my jab, I'll throw my right knee, but instead of putting it back where it came from, I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna step through. Jab, knee. Now I step through to southpaw. I'm gonna use my right hand to push off my opponent, come to this position again, and throw the kick. Whee! So, jab, knee, pivot, 
kick. Jump, knee, pivot, kick. Creating an angle. We'll be in the matador when we do this sort of stuff. Yeah? Jump, knee, pivot. All right. Good move against an aggressive opponent, these pivots. Okay, so now, hopefully you've got the hang of those two. So we've got one, two, left knee, pivot, right kick. And on the other side, we've got one, two, sorry, we've got jab, right knee, or rear knee, sorry. Sorry, southpaws out there. Jab, rear knee, <laughs> pivot, left kick. So we'll alternate between those two. And really visualize again, moving around your opponent and then countering with that kick. So our first attack, one, two, knee, our opponent wants to counter. We'll see about that. Other side now, jab, kick, My opponent's come towards me, I'm pivoting, bang. You be careful not to kick, you know, things in your house. <laughs> A few close calls here. Alright, good work. Okay, so let's do some other ones. We'll do, we're going to throw a teak now. And then we're going to dummy the teep and go over the top of the right hand. So, if I'm blocking a teep, I think you guys have parried the teep this way. A very common way to defend against a teep, like that. Well, the only problem with that is, my hand's here doing a job, and I'm dropping it, so I'm open here. So if I'm doing that to block a teep, so first, if I'm here with my opponent, reframe, here, I throw my left teep, boom. He parries it. Okay, thank that, I'm gonna fake my teep. Lift my knee up, he thinks the teeth's coming, and I crush the right hand through. Let's just do that for now. Teeth, dummy, bang. Teeth, ah, ah. Mm. Teeth, dummy. Teeth, dummy, bang. And you could throw different right hands for this. Let's actually do that now as an exercise. Let's mix it up between an uppercut, and a hook and a cross. Teep, dummy, bang, an uppercut. Teep, dummy, hook. Teep, dummy, cross. Lots of options. You can do an elbow too. Teep, dummy, ha. Different elbows. Teep, dummy, bang. Okay, now, We'll go back to just the cross, but we'll string some more behind it. So we'll throw left teep, then we'll dummy the teep, land the right hand, and then an uppercut and a low kick. We're right here, we teep, we dummy, cross up, and right low. Teep, dummy, ha ha ha. Spin throw on this low, on nice hard low kick. Cheap, dummy, bam, bam, bam. Couple more. Cheap, dummy, bam, bam, bam. Okay, time. Good stuff. So we'll move on to another one now. Some elbows. Some elbows. So the jab and the left elbow on the same side. So in a jab, boom, recoil my jab and then step in and bang my left elbow straight up in the middle of my opponent's guard. Yeah? Remember, I've got to step in. Not going to work. Bang. Then we'll bang a right overhand elbow behind that. Boom. Now the right overhand elbow, again, your opponent's guard's like this. There's the opening. Think cricket, right? <laughs> Here, this hand stays up to protect, this comes bang over there. Let's do that for now. Jab, elbow, elbow. 
When you're, when you're throwing that uppercut elbow, you're answering the phone. Don't cross your hand over to this side. It's there. Boom, boom. Nice and tight. So defensive as well. Boom. Okay. Let's add a right knee. So after we're here, we're at punching distance. Bang. And we step in closer. Boom. Now from here, I'm going to grapple the guy. So it's almost like doing a kung fu move. I'm going to, this hand's going to come up and go on the back of his head. So like that. Boom, now I've got the back of his head, I'm gonna slam that knee in and back off. Jab, elbow, elbow, grapple, knee, and then back away. Okay. If that wasn't complicated enough for you, we're gonna add a spinning elbow. <laughs> so, we're backed off. We've landed the knee, bang, our opponent's gone, Argh! they've come towards us to march us down. We're gonna lead them into the spinning elbow. So we're backing away, backing away, backing away. Step across, spin. Don't spin all the way through. Make sure your lead foot goes all the way over, and bang. So, jab, elbow, elbow, grapple, knee, back away, bang. Back in your stance. Also, just be careful when you're shadowing spinning elbows that you don't overextend and hurt your, your shoulder. I've done that before, and it's not fun. So just don't go hell for leather on the first two. <laughs> just ease into it, okay? Okay, time. One more, one more shadow boxing structured, structured, structured combination, and then we move on to some free shadow. So we're gonna do one, cross to the body, hook to the head, a right knee, lean back, and a right kick for good measure. So let's do the first bit. High, low, high, low. And when you're throwing that right hand to the body, go do like a little squat, change your level to get down. Don't do that, you're too open here. Yeah? Boom, then you come back up. You're changing your level. So, huh, huh, huh. Let's just do that. High, low with the cross, high with the hook. High, low, high, yeah? High, low, high. Change your level. Huh, huh, huh. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Bang a right knee to the face behind that, yeah? Knee to the head. Yeah? Huh, huh, huh. Hey. Huh, huh, huh. Hey. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, so then imagining our opponent's gonna throw their left kick, we're gonna lean out of the way and throw a right kick. Remember when you lean? You can drop your lead hand to help you lean back. You go straight back, you don't go another side, you're not slipping. And take a tiny little step back with your, with your back foot so you're not too off balance here. Like this. Lean. Lean. Not dropping this hand, dropping my lead hand. Boom. A lean back and a right kick. So putting all that on top of it. Jab across the body, hook to the head, knee, lean, kick. So, we're now gonna move on to one round of free shadow boxing. We're gonna do a three minute round. We're gonna do different parameters um, for each minute. Well, what do we do? We'll do three little one minute rounds, right? First round, defense only. No attack, so lots of checks, lots of lean backs, hand blocks, slipping, covering, stepping away, pivoting, all defensive only movements. I don't worry too much about the fitness, I want you to think about the finesse of it, all right? Keep your balance, and when you're checking and stuff like that, don't tense. You want to check, block a kick like it's nothing. You know? Boom. Make the guy think that they're not hitting you that hard. When in fact they are. Okay. 
So let's go. Starting now, one minute of defensive work only. Hey, Banjo. Say hello to the people of the gym. Coach Banjo approves. Anyway. <laughs> Pivot is a defensive movement. Bit of in and out. Don't forget about the old cross block as well. Catch, that's a defensive movement. Check, low check, high check, post and check. Okay, time. So that's it for that little bit. And the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do no punches. So all other weapons, but no boxing, okay? So, uh, elbows, knees, uh, kicks, obviously, um, and try and string them all together. Yeah, let's go. Use all your weapons. No punches. is you stay balanced and keep your stance. Move around, use the space. You don't have to stand in front of your computer as long as you can hear me. Okay, time. Okay, good work on that one. So the last little shadow round we're gonna do is gonna be hands then legs. So you can do whatever you want but you have to throw hands and then legs. So boxing combinations with a kick behind them, think kickboxing, hands and low kicks, hands and mid kicks, hands and high kicks, rip the body high low with your hands, get them, get them guessing, and then bang your kick behind it. So let's go, last one. Knees are included in legs. Hands and knees are good too. Okay, time. That concludes that part. A little bit of fitness now. So we're gonna do 50 teeps, 50 knees and 50 crunches. And then that'll do, we'll have a stretch, okay? So 50 teeps. Now, I'm lucky enough to have a pillar here that I can use, that I can do my teeps on. You can see that. So I'm gonna do my teeps on this pillar. So, here. Boom. So if you've got a tree in your backyard, if you've got a pillar, if you've got anything that you can use to kick, that's it, they're not gonna damage, um, go for it. If not, just shadow them, but do 50, yeah? So 50 teeps. Hips forward, seven, eight, nine, nice and accurate, 10, one, two, three, four. On your toes, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Whew, all right, kicking, kicking pillars and trees and whatever else. Now we're going to do some knees on the pillar. But 
So I'm gonna do them like this. So just throwing like round knees, the way you'd sort of do that on the bag, and just shadowing them, but holding onto the pillar like you're holding onto your opponent's shoulders in the clinch. So like this here. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Twenty. Oops. This is a problem kicking things. <laughs> Let's call that 50, eh? <laughs> okay. Moving on to 50 crunches. So, grab your mat, grab your towel, grab whatever it is. We're gonna do 50 crunches and the dogs are probably gonna lick my face off. All right, just regular, regular good old crunches. Hands on your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. Well done. Well, while we're down here, let's have a little bit of a stretch. And guys, you should be stretching. If you're locked down, you've got nothing to do, please work on your mobility and your flexibility. As I say to a lot of people, staying behind and kicking the bag after class is useful <coughs> to help your kicks, but if you don't have the flexibility in your hips and hamstrings and then that's, that's your biggest problem. So let's do a little bit of that. Let's do some stretch out glutes. Leg across the body here. Oh man, I'm tight, really tight. I don't know if you can tell here, but Murphy's got a bone and ben Banjo's trying to get it off him. All right, change the other side. Oh. Oof. Another thing you can do to, to um, keep yourself sharp during lockdown is watch a lot of fights as well. Jump onto YouTube and watch some, watch some of your favorite um, Muay Thai fighters. Um, you know, watch some old K1 or something. Okay, let's go pancake. So just stretch out in front. Okay, now take it to one side. Now the good thing about stretching is, it's good for relieving tension, not only in your body, but also, you know, I think it's good stress relief as well. Always feel better after a good stretch. Other side. Okay, feet together. Flat them up. And push them down. Breathe into it. That's it. Slap them up again. And push them down again. Another one. Just come here onto your haunches like this. That's it. So we'll just let our, let your quad should be stretching here. 
And while that's happening, we'll stretch our shoulders as well. Change. Stretch the lats too. Change. Okay, now from there, we're gonna stretch our hips. So put your feet, you know, so your knees quite wide, like this. One hand goes behind, the other hand goes to the sky, and you push your hips forward. You should be feeling it more on the side with your hands up in the, in the air. And then back down, change other side. Hips forward. And while we're down here as well, stretch your arm, biceps. All right. Well, that's all she wrote. Hope you're having a, as good a time as you can be. And uh, stay tuned for more quality content on the Training Grounds YouTube channel.